Good evening. It's Thursday, February 27, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Flor Kerubin and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. The Department of Health has already identified the whereabouts of the 26 Korean nationals who arrived at Matansibu International Airport from Daegu City, South Korea last February 25. They are now considered as persons under monitoring due to the coronavirus disease outbreak in South Korea. Here's Romaine Rivera for the details. Health authorities have already identified the whereabouts of the 26 Korean nationals who arrived at Maktan Cebu International Airport from Daegu City in North Gyeongsang Province, South Korea. Department of Health Central Visayas Director Jaime Bernardes said most of them are in a hotel in Lapu-Lapu City. Bernardes added that the 26 Korean nationals arrived in Cebu by different batches. They will be treated as persons under monitoring due to the coronavirus disease outbreak in the East Asian country. Travelers from North Gyeongsang are now barred from entering the Philippines. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo announced on Wednesday that the Interagency Task Force on Emerging and Infectious Diseases approved the ban due to the COVID-19 outbreak in North Gyeongsang. Meanwhile, Filipinos are also temporarily banned to travel to any part of South Korea. Panelo, however, said the task force has authorized Filipinos to travel to South Korea, provided that they are permanent residents thereof, leaving for study, or are overseas Filipino workers. As of Thursday afternoon, South Korea has reported another 334 more cases, bringing its total to 1,595 with 13 deaths. Most of the city's new cases were in the country's fourth biggest city, Daegu, where the outbreak has hit hardest and the national government has mobilized public health tools to help the region's overall medical system. Romain Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. The National Bureau of Investigation filed a new drug-related charges against self-confessed drug lord Gerwin Espinosa and Cebu businessman Peter Lim on Wednesday. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. More than a year after they were charged with conspiracy to commit illegal drug trading, the National Bureau of Investigation has filed new drug trafficking charges against self-confessed drug lord Roland Kerwin Espinosa and Cebu businessman Peter Lim. Espinosa, Lim, and five others were charged for the sale and delivery of dangerous drugs and essential chemicals used by drug syndicates and financiers in transactions involving the illegal trafficking of drugs. Aside from Espinosa and Lim, others who were charged were Peter Ko, Lovely Impal, Melvin Herpacho, Ryan Diaz, and Reynaldo Diaz alias Jumbo. According to NBI, Espinosa, Lim and Co. were accused of illegal drug trading in Cebu City from 2008 to 2011. Based on NBI's complaint, Espinosa receives 50 grams to 1 kilo of shabu from slain suspected drug pusher Jeffrey Diaz alias Jaguar in Barangay Dulho, Fatima. Impal and her pasho allegedly served as contacts of Espinosa in Cebu City. The bank accounts of Espinosa and Co. were frozen by the Court of Appeals in January 2017. Espinosa is currently behind bars at the NBI Detention Center, while Co. is at the new Bilibid Prison. Lim, meanwhile, remains at large. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. More stories in Newsbits Tonight after this short break. Six hundred families were affected by the fire that hit more than two hundred houses in Barangay Suba, Cebu City, last night. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Around 1.5 million pesos worth of property was damaged by the fire that hit Sitio Santo Nino, Barangay Suba, in Cebu City, Wednesday night.
Some 259 houses were destroyed, leaving 603 families homeless. According to fire investigator Novo Irana, the blaze started at the house of a certain Jerry Cabido. The Cebu City Fire Department said they received the alarm around 7 p.m. and they raised it to Task Force Bravo around 8.12 p.m. At 8.53 p.m., authorities declared the fire under control. Fire victims are now temporarily evacuated in Barangay Sports Complex. Meanwhile, the city government has already distributed food packs to the victims. Water tankers and portalettes were also deployed in evacuation areas. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. Philadelphia 76ers All-Star Center Joel Embiid sprained his left shoulder during a game against Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday night. Embiid collided with Cavalier Center Ante Zizek while being fouled late in the first quarter. The seven-footer held his shoulder in obvious pain but stayed in the game and missed both free throws. The Sixers pulled Embiid out at the next time stoppage and walked to the locker room while rubbing his shoulder. He then briefly returned to the bench in the second quarter and went back for more evaluation and treatment. At halftime, Embiid rejoined his teammates on the bench with a wrap on his injured shoulder. The Sixers did not give any specifics on Embiid other than to say his shoulder was sprained and he would not return. Kenneth Torres, News Bits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph and follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Flor Kerubin. Good evening.